If you're interested in indoor growing, you've probably seen the classic grow tent with reflective walls. This is likely the most common setup for growers who want or need to create an enclosed environment for their plants. Although some of us prefer to not use a tent, you may be tired of having a large black box in your home or may be tired of pulling a zipper up and down every time you want to take a peek on your plants. And in that case, a grow closet can be handy. So in this video, we'll show you how we built ours. This is the complete DIY grow closet, which consists of two floors, two air intakes at the bottom and two exhaust fans at the top. In the bottom half of the closet, we're growing eight different peppers under a high power 160 watt LED tonic Q6 grow light. On the upper half, we're growing clones, seedlings, herbs, as well as some microgreens illuminated by our 36 watt Q2 LED grow light. We wanted to create an enclosed grow area on as tight budget as possible to show that anyone can afford to do this. So we picked up the closet for free through Facebook Marketplace and the rest of the items we purchased. It is of course not necessary to modify closets to this extent to be able to grow in them. Any type of closet which allows for hanging of a grow light and a bit of air circulation will do. We, however, wanted to create an ideal environment for our plants and also plan to use this closet long term, which is why spending a few hours modifying seemed like a good investment. We measured, outlined and drilled two 125 mm or 5 inch wide holes for air intake on the back of the closet and covered them with vents. To hold the vents in position, we drilled two holes across the vent and fixed them in position with a wooden skewer. Easy and effective. The air intake holes are placed level with our plants for effective air circulation. Cold and fresh air coming in at the bottom and warm air rising exhausted at the top of the closet. Warm air naturally floats upwards and we want to force it out to allow new fresh air to come in. We measured and cut two holes for two fans at the very top of the closet and for these holes we used axial fans from Noctua which are both very quiet and long lasting. To fit the fans, we measured their size and marked their screw holes. Then we drilled a hole in the closet and cut out holes almost the same size as the fans with a jigsaw. To get the most vertical space for our plants and to fix the Q2 grow light, we decided to cut a hole at the top of the closet and fit the Q2's base through it. We fixed the lamp in position by screwing its lamp holder from above. With the close proximity to the exhaust fans, the Q2 will run cool even when fitted this tightly to the top of the closet. In a closet, a tight shelf is preferred but in our grow closet, we want to be sure there's a good airflow from the bottom half to the top half. To accomplish this, we shorten the shelf by about an inch and the gap with the shorted shelf is now around two inches wide instead. We also screwed a screw into the shelf on the underside that will lock the shelf to prevent it from moving and sliding outwards.
This is optional but allow easy cleaning and protection from water spills. We put in a plastic drip cover on both floors of the closet and we bought these covers at IKEA and they are intended to be used under dishwashing machines, fridges and so on. They are flexible and easy to cut into the right size so they are very functional for our intentions. Now that the closet is structurally done, it's time to fit the fans and the Q2 lamp. We opted for shorter screws as the fans stay firmly in place even without a nut tightened on the underside. The fans are connected to a small adjustable power supply with Wago splicing connectors. The power supply has adjustable voltage which can be adjusted with a screwdriver. The higher the voltage, the faster the fans spin and the more air they move. This grow closet stays around 2 degrees above ambient room temperature when the fans are set to 7.5 volt, which is just perfect. This is also a lot less noisy than when they are running at full speed or 12 volts. We prefer hanging the large lamp's driver instead of having it lying on a surface. The more airflow it has around all of its sides, the lower temperature it will operate at and the longer it will live. 57 degrees Celsius case temperatures won't be a problem either and is well within the recommended range, but it's a small and simple step to just hang it that can result in more than 5 degrees Celsius lower temperatures. So there you have it guys. A grow closet can be made as simple or as complex as one prefers. A standard closet with a partially open door and a grow light would have worked well too. Drip covers are also a bit excessive and trays or pot saucers would be a cheaper option that would work just as well. A cheap and simple USB fan will also cost a lot less than high-end computer fans, but they usually don't last very long and also tend to be a lot noisier. Air exchange and circulation is also important no matter if growing in a closet or in a tent, so these costs aren't specific to a grow closet. Excluding all non-essential parts, the total cost is brought down to $8 instead of $88. So to summarize all this, tents are obviously more bug-proof, light-proof, comes with pre-built holes. They are also lighter and easier to assemble and disassemble. But on the other hand, closets are more sturdy, allows more customization like adding additional floors, uses a door instead of zipper. They are also a bit nicer and more discreet to look at. We like the idea of having two floors and use two lamps with different light output, one for high light plants and one for low and medium light plants. It saves space and also requires less equipment than having two separate tents. We hope this video was informative and inspirational. Growing in a closet is a good alternative to growing in a tent and our Q-series grow lights fit perfectly in this type of grow space. As always, never hesitate to reach out if you have any questions about this setup or grow lights in general. That's all for this video, take care everybody and until next time, happy farming.